I don't even know how long this video gonna be, so y'all forgive me, cause I mean, I did, how many heads on this? One, two, three. Three heads in one video. I was gonna do hubby, didn't do him. Um, and Tony's not here, so. Was finishing up Robin's hair, and let me tell y'all what happened. Pattern Beauty, all that conditioner, all that good lavish thick conditioner. Bum, 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 look what happened. Look what happened. I'm going to show y'all because that nail is sitting in the front. Yeah. Hey Gems, it's your girl Stylus Raven here and it's shampoo day. Y'all see my hair. Alright. But not only am I going to do my own hair, I'm going to do kids and husband. Well, one of the kids is at a competition, so not going to be able to do her hair. Um, typically, because my hair is curly, my kids' hair is curly, I usually use like the Pantene Curly Hair Shampoo, or I'll use like the Joyco Intensity, um, Paul Mitchell, um, just different things like that because it has a lot of moisture in it. But I have succumbed, and I'm going to see if this is trend or if I actually like it. So this is the pattern um, line. I pretty much, I'll show you like what I got. Um, hydration shampoo, of course, is which I just showed you guys. Uh, I got the leave-in conditioner. And I'll disclose prices and everything like in the tags. I picked up the conditioner for tight textures, even though a few of us don't really have the tight textures. I picked this one up because it was intensive. And I'm gonna try their Argan Oil Serum and the Jehovah Oil Serum. Now, I usually use one and only um, Argan Oil. I swear by that, that's like my thing. So anyway, let's get into it. I've already brushed and combed through her hair to detangle it. As you guys can see, it's really dirty, filthy. Um, you can't even see her Jeez. curl pattern, really. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. And I probably won't show you guys like every single step, like washing, shampooing. Y'all pretty much know how to, or you should, or if you don't, then I'll do a video on it. But basically saturate the hair with water before you ever do any shampoo or anything to it and then go into it. You'll use less product and still have it be effective. So let me get into this. You can already see a shine with this shampoo. So I really like that. I think it has a very natural and pleasant smell. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll be back. Okay, I don't like the smell of this one. <laughs> I don't like the smell of this one. Mm. <laughs> oh, you smell it. Jeez. Sunflowers or something. I'll have to check the ingredients and see. You have plants. Yeah. Cool. Is all this organic? Yeah, it's supposed to be. I think it's pretty clean. I have to recheck. Let's see. Yeah, this, this smells like plants. <laughs> I'm gonna finger through. I don't have to form her curls. Her hair is not tangled up. Tangled. I had already combed um, through it. I know with this one, you can leave it on for like an intensive repair for about 10 minutes, or um, you can brush through to kind of detangle and form curls. However, like I said, her hair is not tangled. So I'm just gonna work it in for about three to five minutes, and then I'm gonna rinse it out. I'm gonna apply the leave-in conditioner to wet hair as it's face, and then I'm gonna seal it with the organ oil. Actually, I might mix the Jehovah and the organ together because the Jehovah would be really good for the scalp, as with the organ. 
turn on the bed. That's what I'm gonna do. So, alright, we'll do that. We don't have three to five minutes. What do you mean? They're coming at 4.15. Okay, you'll be done. All right, so I've just applied the leave-in conditioner. No, I have not brushed through. I did buy the, the brush. Um, and I'll tell you guys somewhere in this video my differences with the brush versus the dimming. But she's fully saturated with the leave-in. So now I'm going to grab the Jehovah and all that good stuff. All right. Your hair. Else, please. All right, so as you got okay, uh, really quickly, few things. I love the brush. Um, however, I'm gonna check the packaging to see. Y'all give me a sec. Okay, I'm gonna check the packaging to see how heavy the brush is. This brush, it is. Um, it's easier to detangle with. It doesn't grip a lot of hair. If you guys can see, I want to come outside because I don't have my ring light and all that up. So, it didn't grip a lot of hair. However, it did pull a lot of product. To say it's supposed to be a leave-in, it pulled out quite a bit of product as I was kind of going through it. Um, and, like the weight from the brush, um, I felt like I worked a bit more than I would with my Demon. Um, and it wasn't even tangled. However, I love the brush. I just, I'm, I want to see her next launch so that, what am I trying to say? I kind of went blank. Oh, her next launch, or hopefully next launch, because I, I believe the products are amazing. Um, a, a bore bristle brush. That way for smoothing. Like this one for detangling and a brush for smoothing. So, however, I'm going to go ahead. I brought her outside. I'm going to show you guys her hair. Um, it feels really soft. Look at the curls. Uh, I like the curl pattern. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, it's more defined, you feel like? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Because she, she's about to go to Six Flags, so that's why we just went ahead and pulled her hair back into a low pony. Um, however... I don't really care about having a styling gel and all that because I don't really put a lot of those things into her hair. So, that's child number one. All right, you're gonna go get ready. And then um, I'll do like myself, my other daughter, my husband. I'm not gonna show you guys like shampooing and all that on camera. Probably will with the hubby, but with the kids, no. Um, and then we will, you got Robin's review because she's gonna be gone, Tony's gone. So you'll get my review, Sydney's review, and Hubby's review on camera. Harper, you want some of the patterns? Huh? What? You want some? I mean, it's so thick, it's not even coming out the brush. Look, it literally just sits in. So I'm not complaining at all. Woo! Okay, another thing really quickly with the Oregon oil. I don't know if it's because I'm so used to the one and only. I did like it. Um, it is still like a serum, so it's not as heavy as it would if it was if it were to be an oil. But I'm used to my serums being a little thicker. This one, I don't know. I felt found it to be a bit runny, but I did feel like it did what it was supposed to do in her hair. Now tonight when she gets home, you know that's gonna be like the end of my because tonight when she gets home I'm gonna show her hair my hair everybody's hair and see how it you know held up um, right now it's about four in the evening so that's about a fair amount of time because she probably won't be home until later um, tonight so we'll see okay so on Sydney's hair my youngest the only thing I've used in my hair was the leave-in conditioner and I used it I mean, my, I was in between washes, um, and I kind of put it on a little dry, and then, then I was like, well, let me wet my hair some, and I put it on like that, um, and I liked it. I really feel like it's really, really, really similar to this one, the Pantene Three Minute Curl Perfection. Um, however, this one you wash out, that one you do not, and they do have um, quite a few of similar. Uh, ingredients the, these two so yeah these two however I've only used this one three times and I'm out 
my hair four times, I'm sorry, and I'm out. But I'm not gonna toss the bottle because I do know that the bottles are refillable. So once I get my bigger bottle, I'll use it. Would I say this is a family brand? Yes, and y'all, I'm sorry if my energy seems a little down. I'm on allergy pills because of my, um, my um, allergies. Um, you could, I could use it on the whole family, but what I would say is due to the price, even if I wanted to use it like in my salon, right? Um, for what I would have to price my shampoos at in order to use this product in the salon is not feasible um, on the retail things. Now, if she were to actually come out with salon size bottles, then yes. Because even this one is 29 fluid ounces. And just to kind of bring this real time to y'all, like this is my Tresemme conditioner, right? And it's 39 fluid ounces. And this is about $7. And this is the moisture rich line. And it's really good if you have color treated hair or just dry hair. But anyway, this video is, and that's an over the counter. You see what I'm saying? So 42 for 29 ounces. That's a bit steep. Um, a lot steep. However, I do like the product. Um, the line seems to be a semi-clean line. It's not like a vegan line or um, anything like that. It's semi-clean. So, you know, I'm still okay with that. Um, the shampoo, it, it is, uh, it kind of reminds me of the T. Talia Wajid shampoo. Um, how hers kind of like strips the hair of everything and gives you like that really, really good lather and all that good stuff. It's kind of it kind of reminds me of that one but it's not as harsh so I don't have a problem with the shampoo don't have a problem with the conditioner I really my favorite product so far has been the leave-in conditioner um, the Oregon oil the Jehovah oil you know you really can't go too wrong with that however there are other oils in there um, so it's not like it's just that oil and that oil is pure so at this time I'm gonna quit talking because this video is probably gonna be more lengthy than what I expected it to be. Um, and I'm gonna let my daughter hold the tripod so y'all can kind of see maybe how I do with her hair. I told y'all kind of like how I felt about the brush. And look at this, it's now almost eight o'clock. So it's four hours later, I didn't even clean it and you could still see like uh, the conditioner and stuff kind of in there from when I did Robin's hair. So this brush you really do work Whew, I'm out of breath talking about this brush, but I do like the brush. I feel like it does form, help to shape and form curls. Um, I feel like it is an awesome detangler brush. Would I use it on day to day? Yes, I, I definitely am gonna use it. Um, probably pick up another one to use for my clients and for myself. Now to see how it's gonna be on this child's hair, I have no clue. Um, her hair is so thick so thick so here we go make sure you can see your face and your hair all right okay. now with the leave-in conditioner it says to put in while the hair is pretty moist you know um, not towel dried hair but pretty moist and I get it but like I said when you pull the brush through then it starts to kind of seep out you know oh but I do like it it's definitely forming like a curls now I like this one better on the thicker hair than I did on Robin who has kind of like medium to thick hair um, however I'm not the biggest fan of combing through of brushing through wet hair like really saturated hair um, I feel like that's how you do get a lot of breakage and stuff however I'm not getting that with this brush so that's a really good thing I do like that uh, I don't know it feels like I want my hair do you think it's it's easier to comb through after your shampoo? <laughs> yes, ma'am. So yeah, I, I 
definitely think because it's moisturized, it is definitely uh, much easier to kind of comb through. Really, really like how these products did on her hair. At first, I was kind of worried about like the shampoo and the conditioner, but I really like the leave-in for her and the jojoba and the organ oil on her. Like, her hair is super soft, very manageable. It's I typically, after shampoo, she's pretty manageable, but not like how it was today. How see it? What you think? Uh, it felt easier to comb through. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And it didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. And did you feel it? Does it feel moisturized or soft or what do you feel like? It feels like a rug. Yeah, it feels <laughs> moisturized and soft. Like one of those rugs if you could find out the furniture started. No, like the really soft ones, yeah. yeah. So. It's late. And I don't feel like shampooing my hair. Let me show y'all how late. Come on. Oh, I got some stuff from Herbalife on the table too. It's this late. Mm -hmm. Look, my daughter's bag that she needs to unpack. Got some stuff from Herbalife on the table. I gotta do that. Uh, I guess this is almost like a vlog and a hair shampoo thing. Y'all, who wants to come shampoo for me? Cause this is like sauna hair. All right, no, y'all don't want to. Y'all feel like not shampooing your hair. That's what I meant. But, because I love y'all and y'all my gems and stuff, I'm going to shampoo it. Just so y'all can see it. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see. This is my hair. Rinse. Dirty. All right. Now we're gonna start to shampoo. It's time to smell like plant. Let's see how it's doing my hair. All right. So I already knew this was gonna be like heavy on my hair because I have a different type of curl pattern than my daughter's. However, it's okay. Um, it's in intensive. We're not gonna let it sit too long because I don't want it to, my hair is thin and I don't want it to weigh it down too much because it's really like way down right now and I didn't hardly put a lot of conditioner in it at all. Okay. And this is the intensive conditioner that I'm using. Y'all, yeah, y'all see my kitchen? Got like some dishes right there, some stuff on the table, and my daughter's uh, thing is on top of the deep freezer. However, yep. so let me rinse this out, and then the little bit of leave-in that I have left, which should go a long way in my hair, I'll put that on. Um, that's a little bit so same process I've done everybody, pretty much. I just haven't done Tony's hair because she's at a band competition. The husband, he, he caught a whole attitude when I told him to shampoo his own hair. So he probably won't be on the video. But there he go. Oh no, where he at? He right there. Mm -hmm. So he probably won't be on the video, but it's still a family video. Yeah, family. We are a family. Uh, I just came over here to ask if I can have more cake. Not right now. All right, so I rinsed out the, sh the conditioner. My hair is wet. I literally, this is all I have left. And the leave-in. So, let's see. Get it all through my hair. If y'all can see, it don't really take a lot from my hair. Okay. It's 
angle that I'm at. Jeez Louisos. Let's see. I'm scared to put this in my hair. My hair is so thin. Let's see. I don't really need anything to form my curls. My curls are pretty much already there. Ow, this brush hurts my hair. Like, mm -mm. I rather use like my paddle brush, honestly. But just for video purposes, so y'all can see, this is what this brush does in my hair. Um, so yeah, I guess I don't know if y'all can even see. Uh, I'm I'm scared, so I'm gonna go with my paddle brush real quick and just brush it through, and then I'll do it with the other one because that other brush is kind of heavy, and I'm not trying to pull my hair out. One thing I'll say is this conditioner is this leave-in on my hair type is super um so that's the first thing I've noticed. My two daughters that I did, their hair is thicker. Um the one who has my actual similar hair type, she's not home. Um so on my hair, this is like super, super slippery. Like, like everything is just slipping and sliding like a damn water slide. Not a bad thing, I'm just saying. It's um, it's cause the, this one is really heavy for me. This particular shampoo. But knowing that I was getting it for the family to try, I had to get one that was gonna come accommodate the majority instead of the minority. So, um, would I get the intensive conditioner? Probably not. I'd probably get like just the regular conditioner um, for myself. And then um, I would still get the hydrating shampoo. All right, I guess I'll turn around so y'all can see because I don't know. Make sure you can see my hair. I'm not filming y'all, so it's him filming. So I'll use this brush now just to show y'all. I don't know what it's looking like. I'm pretty sure it's just curly as usual. I feel like I have more shrinkage, which is normal. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this brush for my hair, but I do like it on the kids' hair. That's pretty much it. I'll leave commentary um, in general. I think that's it. Y'all like, share, subscribe. I love y'all. Um, I gotta go pop me another Benadryl for the night and call it a day. <laughs>